Today we're unboxing a camera stabilizer and no, I'm not talking those really big clunky rigs that people hold and wear in order to stabilize one single camera. I'm talking about a handheld camera stabilizer. So for this week's product, we have Platinum's camera stabilizer mount. Oh, damn, that sounds so choppy. So if you're interested in buying this week's product, go down to the link below. It's actually gonna be Best Buy and not Amazon because Best Buy is the only one that sells Platinum products. And if you liked this week's video, make sure you leave a like because you liked the video. Therefore, you should just like it. You might as well. It doesn't hurt, it's free. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's see what Platinum's about, you know what I'm saying? So right off the bat, in the box, there's gonna be a big piece of foam, and then there's the stabilizer and also manual. I need a camera. So right here I have my Canon PowerShot S640, and I'll be using this to show you guys how to set this up, and hopefully to learn how to stabilize it, because I heard stabilizing these mounts are a little bit tricky, but I will do my best for you guys. But we're also gonna be testing out with footage, and I'll be using this camera and not this one, because this one is better quality, sorry. Before I show you guys how to actually balance these things and also before I show you the stabilized footage, I'm gonna be telling you guys all about the specs, features, the looks, and all that good stuff. So on the top, there's the mounting plate and you face your camera the way the logo is facing. So you go from this way to that way. And on the top, there's the 1 4th inch mounting screw and also this really nice grip that keeps your camera from sliding. So in the back, there's your bubble and you'll use that to stabilize your camera and you'll know right when it's stabilized, when you hold it out and you look and the bubble is actually right in the red center. Moving on to the handle, it's a foam padded handle and it seems really comfortable. It doesn't seem like you would get tired or anything. It, it seems like it wouldn't hurt your hands. So that's a really good thing. And also the handle has a ball joint movement which kind of reminds me of like a gimbal, like what drones have in order to take pictures and videos. Moving on to the bottom of the mount, there's little cylinders of metal that they come with and each of them is actually supposed to be a weight for the stabilizer and depending on your camera and how you want to stabilize it, you can place less or more weight and you'll figure it out once you get your camera on top of here. I would like to tell you which ones to put depending on your camera, but I can't do that. So once you get this thing and you test it out, you'll be able to figure out how much to put on and how much to take off. On the weight section, there's also two knobs and you're able to move the weight up and down depending on your liking once again this product is really personalized and it depends on your camera and your preferences when it comes to stabilization so now that you know what it looks like and things that it has let's go on to how to stabilize this stabilizer mount so to test it out, I'm gonna be using my Canon PowerShot S640 and this roughly weighs about 1.4 pounds. And also keep in mind that this only holds up to 2.2 pounds. So if you're buying these, make sure that you read that it holds your camera weight because the last thing you want is to break off this little metal rod that will ruin your whole day. So to start off, place your camera onto the screw and tighten it up until you have it pretty well on there. Keep in mind, you don't just place your camera wherever you want. You actually have to place it depending on the weight and how you're stabilizing it. So realize that if you put it on here, you might be needing to move it. Hold it and look at the bubble level and see if it's centered or not. And if it's a little off the red section, keep moving the camera around, keep moving the weights around, and then you'll figure it out from there. A lot of people tend to think that this section, this rod section has to be straight, but no, that depends on your camera. And you can see my weights are leaning a little to the left and that's your right. You can see right here that it's not perfectly straight. And that's the thing. It's not all gonna be perfectly parallel to each other. It's gonna be different and it just depends, like I said, on your camera. You need to look back at your bubble level and see if it's right in the middle. And all you have to do is hold it out in front of you. And right when it's in the center, you have it stabilized. All right, so to test out this mount, I'm gonna be testing it out in three different ways. One, it's a panning. I'm gonna just be holding it and moving it around stationary to show you guys the fluid movement it's supposed to have. Number two is just a walking test. I'll be walking with the mount, holding it straight out. And for the third one, I'm gonna be doing a speed walking test and that's usually the movements that filmmakers make when they're trying to get a really quick shot. So I'll be testing it out as well. And for each shot, I'm gonna be replicating it. But the different thing about those shots is that I'll be holding the camera by hand and showing you the videos side by side. That's how you can see a comparison onto using this mount and also just trying to use your hand. So let's go. So yesterday I ran out of sun. So what I'm doing today, the day after filming, this is the next day. I accidentally ran out, accidentally. Yeah, I accidentally ran out of sun. So this is the next day after filming. And the reason why is because I ran out of sun yesterday. So today what I'm doing is fighting and hopefully to get all the shots I can before Friday. So enjoy.
Before I jump into my final opinion about this mount, I want to let you guys know that you have to work with this mount. Just because you buy it doesn't mean it's going to stabilize every shot for you. It's not going to follow the subject that you want. You have to find ways and you have to learn how to use this by getting it and practicing and using it around. It won't always give you the shot you want. And the reason why is because it's a fluid head. It's not remote controlled. It doesn't follow a subject with a sensor or anything. This is literally on you in order for you to get the shots that you want. You have to learn how to use these things. As much as I would love it for it to follow a subject that you choose and for it to be remote controlled and really get nice fluid movements, you can. All right, now that the lesson that I just gave you guys is put aside, I'm gonna be talking about how this works and how I personally like this. Now, I just gotta say that this thing does help. This mount does its job at stabilizing your video. When you hold your camera, you think you're doing a good job at stabilizing it, but the thing is when you take steps or you hiccup a little bit, you will see the movements, but this really minimizes all the shakiness in your videos and I do recommend this. And you might be thinking 60 might be a little bit too much for me when it comes to just a simple stabilizer, but keep in mind that when it comes to equipment, sometimes it's better to buy the expensive route because it has higher quality. When I was researching these things, I found a lot of cheap ones, some were even $35, and I realized that this guy actually broke his camera because this thing snapped off because of the poor quality. So before you turn away from a $60 stabilized amount, realize that equipment like this has to be high quality. And when it comes to high quality, there's gonna be higher prices. So this is a great piece of equipment when it comes to those who are making films. Personally, I do find this to be very helpful for you guys to get really nice fluid shots. If you end up buying this and you end up using it, please let me know how you like it. If you make a video with it, I would like to see how you guys ended up using this because I did find it helpful and I wanna know if you guys found it helpful too. If you're interested in buying today's product, make sure you click down to the link below. It'll send you directly to it. Keep in mind, you can also find these at your Best Buy, but it's never for sure, so you can buy this online. So guys, if you liked today's video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. I make weekly uploads on cheap products, so keep on the lookout. But anyways, my name is M. Cole, this is The Modest Box, and I'll see you guys on the next video. So this map does help you reduce the shake when it comes to your hand.